Hello and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord and we're doing another, or taking another look at the uh, Napoleonic Warfare conversion mod and we're doing another factions uniforms. We've already done France, Britain, Austria, Russia. Now we're working on a lot of people's favorite, Prussia. So uh, we're going to be going through all of the Prussian uniforms that I've been able to distinguish in the game uh, one at a time and going through all of the items that make them up. Keep in mind, not every uniform has a named piece that matches just specifically that uniform all the way down. So some Sometimes it feels a little mixed and matched. I'm either taking these from troop types in the game that have already been designed or just going down the list of how they make sense to go together. So they are actual uniforms. I'm not just making it up, <laughs> um, but let's just dive on into it and start it off with those. Keep in mind, we are only using either generic pieces like the bicorn or the infantry uh, bandolier or named Prussian pieces. So Prussian infantry uniform or stuff like that. We're not going to add in any Austrian stuff or British stuff, even if it would look good with that uniform. We're not going to mix and match. We're just keeping everything Prussian here. So let's dive on in and get into them. So our first one is going to be the Brandenburg uniform. And you can tell off the line that the Prussians had a sense of style. It may not be as flashy as the French or as aesthetically pleasing as some of the green uniforms of the Russians, but the Prussians knew how to put together a, a sharp military uniform. And so this is is a infantry uniform and it is made up of the Prussian infantry Shako, the Prussian equipment black, the Prussian Brandenburg uniform, the officer's gloves black, and the Prussian infantry boots. So I really like this one. Just it's starting it off just absolute fire. The colors look excellent. It's got that dark blue, not like navy blue, but a real nice royal blue with a subtle accents on it. You can see we've got the gold for the cuffs and the collar, we've got those silver epaulets up there, uh, the little red that goes down on the tail, and then of course just the black black accents over everything else. Absolutely love it. Sharp uniform, one of the best looking infantry uniforms in the game. Just looks absolutely excellent. So no notes here, no clipping. They don't have any problems with textures. It all looks good together. So excellent uniform, starting us off strong. Next up, we have the Prussian Free Corps Infantry, and this is the regular enlisted variant of that. Uh, looks pretty solid. I love how distinctive the Prussian uniforms look from the entire rest of the game. Obviously, some elements are similar, but they, they stand out, I think, very well. And so the Free Corps units are just a great example of that. So like I said, this is the enlisted. It's made up of the Prussian Infantry Shako, the Prussian Equipment Black, the Prussian Free Corps uniform, the Officer's Gloves Black, and the Prussian Infantry Boots. So very dark uniform, all black. Love that. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Got some red accents to still keep it looking sharp and a little bit parady. Uh, definitely uh, looks like it's supposed to be warm. You can see it's knee length and looks to be like a thick woolen uniform. So it would be great for winters. The Prussians knew how to do it. They were good at designing military equipment for whatever setting it needed and clearly this one needed to be worn. So that is the uh, Free Corps regular infantry soldier uniform. And uh, there is our Prussian Free Corps officer uniform. So you might be able to tell the subtle difference is a hat. So this uniform is made up of the Prussian Free Corps officer cap, the Prussian equipment black, the Prussian Free Corps uniform, the officer's gloves black, and the Prussian infantry boots. So same exact uniform except for the hat. Of course that in of itself is enough to make the uh, uniform look way cooler in my opinion because I loved the the Prussian style officer hats that well obviously most of the world loves them because the vast majority of uh, military hats nowadays have or at least for officers or dress uniforms have some variant of this style so not a lot of military still running around wearing shakos a lot of them still wearing this type of cap so I think it looks great it adds a little bit more red to the uniform giving it that little bit of extra flash in class help your Prussians stand out on the battlefield a little bit more definitely like it so excellent uniform next up we have the Prussian Guard uniform. So these are our top tier infantry unit. They definitely look very flashy and I think they can stand toe to toe style wise with the French Old Guard. They look quite fancy. So for one thing, I'll just go through the items first. We're made up of the Prussian Guard Shako for the headwear, the Prussian equipment, the Prussian Guard uniform, the officer's gloves white, and the Prussian infantry boots. So for one thing, our Shako is quite fancy. You can tell by the fact that it has this giant plume coming off the front. Absolutely love that. Uh, then the uniform itself, like most Prussian uniforms, is super sharp. We've got that dark blue, the nice shiny buttons, the red accents. Looks really good all the way around. Actually reminds me of a lot of uh, inaccurate Hollywood depictions of American uniforms from the Revolutionary War. Not what they looked like, but definitely really, really cool looking. And uh, yeah, no complaints. Again, no clipping with this one, no texture issues. It all looks good together. So yes, the Prussian Guard uniform is one of my favorite guard units from the entire game. They're really, really well put together. So that's that uniform. 
Next, we have the Prussian Landwehr Infantry. And so this is another one that I definitely love for its slightly more modern look. And I might like it even more than the Free Corps, just because it looks a little bit sharper. So I love the black and red. Don't get me wrong. That's a cooler color pattern. But just the textures on this one look a little bit better. But this uniform is made up of the Prussian Landwehr cap, the Prussian Equipment Black, the Prussian Landwehr Uniform, the Officer's Glove Black, and the Prussian Jaeger Gators. So all together, very, very good. Definitely a very blue-themed uniform. But again, we're dealing with that thick knee-length coat. Looks excellent and much warmer than a lot of the uh, uniforms in this game. The buttons are nice and shiny brass that contrasts nice, and it goes with the sort of more yellowish brass-ish brass, brass -ish looking epaulets up there. Uh, once again, we do have a little bit of red accent to it, all relegated up there. Don't have anything on the collars or anything. Uh, overall, just a really solid uniform. No complaints about this one. Again, no clipping, nothing. I'm guessing the Prussian faction was one that at least one of the mod authors is a fan of because it looks like every uniform had enough thought uh, put into it to make it look good. Whereas some of them in the other factions, especially like the Austrian faction, there's a lot of clipping and problems here and there and the Russian one, if I'm being honest. So I would say the Prussian one definitely got the amount of attention that it deserves because these uniforms are good looking. Next, we've got our Prussian recruit uniform, quite possibly the best looking recruit uniform in the game, which makes sense because all of the Prussian uniforms look great. This one's made up of the Prussian landwehr cap, so same as our last uniform, the infantry bandolier, Prussian recruit uniform, the officer's gloves wool, and the Prussian infantry boots. So nothing too flashy or over the top here. It is a recruit uniform. I wish, now this is just me, but if the landwehr cap had a variant that was that lighter blue that matched this better, it would look even better. Uh, but as it is, it still looks quite good. Again, no quality issues. I mean, there's a little bit of clipping up on the shoulder that you can see here and there, but that is because we're using the infantry bandolier, which is a general purpose bandolier that can fit most uniforms in the game relatively well. So it's the one that we most frequently see a clipping issue with. But overall, colors on this look good. I love the way the general vibe of it goes. Like I said, only color that kind of stands out is the slightly darker blue of the cap, but what are you gonna do? I think it still looks really good. So that is the Prussian recruit. Next up, we have the Prussian Rhine infantry. So just another specific regional infantry for them and again looking pretty sharp it's it's possibly the most basic Prussian uniform uh, that we've covered so far but still looks pretty dang good so it's made up of the Prussian infantry Shako the Prussian equipment the Prussian Rhine uniform which is of course distinct for this specific one the officer's gloves wool and the Prussian infantry boots so very solid looking uniform it's definitely like I said you know a gray uniform that doesn't have a whole lot going on but it still looks good I don't have any problem with the textures or the color or anything like that nothing really clashes just a solid enough uniform. So that's the Rhine Infantry uniform. Next up, we have the Prussian Rifleman uniform. And now I am a sucker for a good Rifleman uniform. This one does look excellent because like all of the Prussian uniforms, the style and everything is just on point. That being said, out of the three really distinct Rifleman uniforms that we've looked at, the British one, the Russian one, and the Prussian one, despite the fact that I love the Prussian uniforms in this game, it might be my least favorite of the Rifleman uniforms. It's hard for me to say. Uh, it's close to the Russian one. I'd say I prefer the Russian Shaco over this one, and I like it better when it's all green instead of the gray pants with it, but this coat is better than the Russian Rifleman coat. That being said, still, solid, solid uniform. It's made up of the Prussian Infantry Shaco, the Prussian Equipment Black, the Prussian Rifleman uniform, the Officer's Gloves Black, and the Prussian Jaeger Gators. So, very, very solid uniform. Like I said, definitely one of the best ones from the entire faction. Love it. Absolutely great uniform. I'm a sucker for Rifleman uniforms. What can I say? They look good. But yeah, that is the Prussian Rifleman. Next up, we have the Prussian Curious or uniform and we finally come across one that is not that great of a uniform like it's fine uh it doesn't have any quality issues like there's not a bunch of clipping or texture problems it's just not that good of a uniform especially compared to the fact that most of the other factions their curiouser is one of their best looking uniforms and it's flashy and they look really cool this one doesn't look so good so first of all it starts off with just the bicorn which is like one of my least favorite hats in the entire game uh it makes you bald and it just sits so high on your head it looks weird uh so that's the start of it then we have the cavalry bandolier the prussian curious uniform, the officer's gloves white, and the Prussian cavalry gaiters. So we had to finally get to one of the Prussian uniforms that isn't one of the best in the game, and so it just turns out it's their curiouser. It doesn't stand out. It's probably the worst curiouser uniform in the game and the worst Prussian uniform, so a lot of Venn diagram circles intersecting here. That being said, it's not the worst uniform overall in the game. It's just that for Prussian uniforms, which are all quite good, it's the worst, and for curiouser uniforms, which are all usually quite good, it's the 
the worst. So, you know, it makes it seem worse than it is. It's still okay. It's just definitely not my favorite. Next, we have our Prussian Dragoon uniform, which, again, is not... I like this one more than the Curiouser. I'll put it that way. I want to start off a little bit more gentle with this one. First of all, it's made up of the Prussian Infantry Shako, the Cavalry Bandolier, the Prussian Dragoon uniform, the Officer's Gloves White, and the Prussian Cavalry Gators. So it's better than the Curiouser. I'll start off with that. And it's not bad for a Dragoon uniform. Some of the other Dragoon uniforms in the, in the game aren't that great. Uh, but again, just compared to the fact that the Prussians have these awesome infantry uniforms, you get to the cavalry ones and they're a little bit of a letdown. This one is better than the Curiouser. I like the coat better. It's got this sort of medium blue with these weird pinkish accents and nice shiny buttons. Uh, it doesn't clip. The textures all look good. Overall, it's a pretty good uniform. I'd rate it mid-tier. Definitely doesn't make my top five. Let's put it that way. But still, pretty solid looking uniform and compared to just the other dragoons it's okay so that is the prussian dragoon and finally our last prussian off our press last prussian uniform that was hard to say uh is the prussian hussar which totally vindicates their other cavalry units because it looks so good so this is my favorite hussar uniform from the game and that's saying something because the the hussar uniform from each faction is always one of my favorites but the prussian one is just hard to beat it's black and white it's got a skull on the shako it's got these red accents that give it just enough color and life to stand out oh it looks so good this is made up of the prussian Hussar Shako, the Prussian Hussar Equipment, the Prussian Hussar Uniform, the Officer's Gloves White, and the Prussian Cavalry Gators. So like I said, I love this uniform. The black and red and white is a winning combination for anything. I mean, the problem with most of the Hussar stuff is that they look a little bit like band uniforms, but I would say the band uniforms are based on them. Uh, honestly, love this one. I think that out of all of the Hussar Equipment, this one uh, clips the least. I think the, the French and the British ones didn't clip, but I think the Austrian and Russian ones clipped quite a bit, whereas this Prussian one doesn't. And I love that it's got that black, just the smooth black leather. Looks excellent. So, like I said, I don't love the other two distinct Prussian cavalry uniforms, but this one I do absolutely love. It's one of my favorite uniforms in the game. So, um, I believe that's it. I think that's all for all of the Prussian uniforms. I don't think there are any other ones. So it's definitely a more limited faction. They don't have nearly as many uniforms as, say, the British or the French or even the Austrians do. Uh, the Prussians have a amount closer to the Russians, so it's definitely far more limited but i would say for the most part all but two of them are some of the best uniforms in the game like in their class uh the rifleman looks excellent it's not as good as the british but it's comparable to the russian one uh the infantry are excellent ever you know the guard is excellent all of them look really good there just aren't that many of them but anyway that's all for today that's all the prussian uniforms in the game i uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you if this is the first one you've seen i've made them already like i said at the beginning for the french the british the austrians and the russians only ones that I have to do yet after this are the Ottoman one. I could do one for the Italians and I could do one for the Hungarians. But uh, yeah, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.